What's up guys? Today I have some ROM racing seats here. I'm gonna show you guys the unboxing. I'm really excited to put these seats on my car. Alright, so as you can see, I have my two Brom seats here. And I also went ahead and purchased the Planet seat mounting bracket. So one for the left, one for the right. And I got it at a discount. So Brom actually threw in a free Brom racing jacket as well as, I'm not sure what this is, but I'll go ahead and open this first and show you guys what's in here. So, um, like I said, I got this at a time when Braum Racing had a sale. Actually, it's a Black Friday sale. So I decided to jump on it. And, okay. So, I see that included a decal, as well as, a. Um, little card saying thank you for your support we like to offer you 10% off your next prom purchase so that's what's up as well as a little bag from Braum Racing so that's cool I'm gonna put this aside and then they also gave me a, a hoodie so free hoodie oh this feels really warm the hoodie jacket from Braum Racing looks pretty good, really thick, feels like good quality. So I know you guys are really here to see the seats, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and take this packaging off. I just want to say a huge thank you to Braum Racing. Um, the packaging is really good, as you can see a huge Braum box back there. Um, even though it was Black Friday, you know, I thought that the order might take a long time. It came pretty quick. I want to say from the day I ordered it to the time I actually received it. It was about maybe a week and a half or two weeks. So they also come with this nice big black um, bag that covers the seat. So really, really nice packaging. So I'm gonna take all the strings off and show you guys the seats. these seats look really nice so um, if you guys are wondering these are the Elite X diamond stitching seats from Braum Racing uh, new model pretty expensive but really nice let me get a extra flashlight here going so you guys can see the details on the seats so can see the stitching here is leather they also make cloth seats but I picked the leather ones out and it's a lot of red stitching on the side we have a nice uh, brown logo here a little more leather stitching on the side so um and then over here it's kind of like a carbon fiber weave design so I'm now it's kind of dark at night but I'll go ahead and install the brackets and then I'll show you guys how these seats look. I'm gonna show you guys how to install the sliders onto the Braum Racing seats. Pretty much um, unbox the seats. So all you really need is a 12 millimeter socket wrench and uh, Allen key. That's all you really need. So I know in some aftermarket seats, they don't actually drill out holes to the bottom. So you have to drill them out. Um, in this case, the holes have already been um, kind of in place for me. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to mount these seat brackets, sliders onto the seats. So if you're wondering which side goes where, uh, basically the flat surface is going to go on and this is going to be on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install one side first. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is attach this here. So 12 millimeter bolt, unscrew it. I'm going to attach this bottom part first. I'm going to use one of the black uh, kind of like Allen key screws that they provided. Alright, so same as X steps for the other side. So here's the hole. Right now, all I'm gonna do, same thing, use that black Allen key screw. 
attach it here. I have my sliders on and basically this part needs to be tightened so you can just use a hammer, just hammer it in, hammer both sides and then also go ahead and use your allen key now and tighten all four corners. Besides the brown racing bucket seats, I also have these, the Kara racing harness that I want to install. So let me just go ahead and quickly unbox it and show you guys. So I went with the green and black straps. Um, as you can tell, the most signature Takata harness is usually green in color. Uh, but I feel like that, that will throw off the color combination in my car quite a bit. So I went with the black straps. So I got it for both passenger as well as driver. But I'm just going to demonstrate, you know, just the driver's side, just one side for demonstration purposes. So basically, this is what it comes with. And then I have the other side for the passenger seat, but I'll just leave that here in the box. So there's basically three parts to it. The first part is the actual straps itself. And then we have the, uh, I guess, this is the quick release where, you know, where the seatbelt comes off. And then we also have these uh, hooks, I guess, or nuts. So usually the Kata harnesses are supposed to be mounted to the back of your seats, the back seats or a full roll cage, which I don't have. I have the harness bar. So I went to do some research online, printed some instructions from the Kata on how to install it. And I need to learn how to properly install, how to properly wrap these around my harness bar as well. So after doing some research, um, seems like I found on a forum that this guy said I had to buy uh, what they call a three bar slide, I believe. So let me just quickly show you guys um, how this looks like and then I'll demonstrate it on the three bar slide that I just bought. So if you guys want to buy this, I believe this is called the Scotch three bar slide. So it's basically three inch. Uh, really hard metal got it from jegs.com so jegs.com it sends some decals as well <laughs> so it's a one box is one set um, by one set i mean for one seat and there are four components to it um, basically these two are going to strap you in from the sides and these two harnesses strap you in from the top so let me go ahead and demonstrate. I already went ahead and did one side to install this. So all the Kata harnesses come like this. So with this, basically you're supposed to secure it to the back of your seat, um, on the back seats, which I do want to keep my back seats. So the alternative method is you could buy this, uh, I believe it's called Scotch, three bar slide and attach it to your harness bar. So what you have to do is remove this part and insert the three bar slide. So let me go ahead and show you how that is done. So uh, like I said, I printed out some instructions from the Kata. And over here, I managed to find this on a forum. So it's telling me that I need these uh, three bar slide. So this is how the Takata harness is gonna look like later on when I go ahead and um, you know take it out of the packaging. So I'm not going to be using this, so I have to disassemble it like that. So I'm not going to use this part basically and I went ahead and purchased a 3 bar slide. And what this is going to do is, as you can tell, the 3 bar slide is going to be here and I'm just not going to use this part. So once I go put on the 3 bar slide. I can go ahead and wrap it around the harness bar so they have specific instructions here. And yeah, pretty much. It's kind of dark on the photo, but yeah, should be good. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. Like I said, I'm no expert, but I'm gonna follow the instructions here and show you guys how it's done. I definitely recommend going, I believe I got this off the Kata's website. Um, so some people think that you could use a safety harness seat belt on normal stock seats. Don't do that. Um, don't attach it directly to the ground. I know some people do that. That's really dangerous. You could break your spine. So always either have a roll cage or at the minimum a harness bar, which is what I went with because I want to keep the usability on my back seats. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble this part since I'm not going to be using it. basically remove this part from this since I'm not using this part and um, to do it it's kind of tight over here so what I did was kind of pains me to do it but I actually cut the end of it is really thick so I have no choice but to cut it and right now is a much thinner end I'm gonna grab that scotch three bar slide and put it together That's how it looks. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that and leave a lot of excess. Um, I'll only be able to properly wrap it whenever I have my harness bar. So whenever my seats are in, I install the seats and then I'll show you guys how to wrap it properly around the harness bar. So what I'm gonna do now is just quickly show you guys the Takata harness seat belt together, how it might look. I'm going to continue my seat install today. I've been waiting. So I had these bucket seats came in the mail about a week ago, but because I ordered it during Black Friday, so maybe that's why there was a little delay in parts. But my um, planet seat mounting brackets are finally here. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and mount the seat brackets onto my Braun Racing seats. And then take off the stock seats and put them in. I'm so excited. So you see I have these planet seat mounting brackets. So basically, if you got one seat brackets, you hit up the company Planet. I believe they make seat brackets for pretty much any car. So these were custom made for my car specifically. So I have both the passenger side as well as the driver side. So all I'm gonna do now is install these seat brackets onto my brown bucket seats. So I already went ahead and installed the seat brackets for the passenger seat. And let me just show you guys how I'm installing it for the driver's seat. So all you need are some bolts, which I bought, which I got when I got the planet seat mounting brackets. Uh, so basically it's like an Allen key screw, a washer as well as a lock bolt. And then you need a ratchet with a 13 millimeter as well as an Allen key. So let's get to it. So the first step is I have my seats facing down. And basically what you want to do is make sure that your sliders are slide all the way to the top. So as you can see, right now my sliders are slide all the way to the top on both sides because you're going to put that uh, bolt to these holes. Before I put it on, let me show you guys how it's going to work. So I'm just going to grab one side, one bolt, one washer. Well, as one nut. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get that bolt, put it underneath, and then you're gonna put the mounting bracket over. And then once you have the seat brackets over, you're gonna put this. Oops. You're gonna put this uh, washer over the seat mounting bracket. And then lastly, you're gonna use this nut and lock it down all right so the side with this planet logo is gonna face the front so I'm gonna flip it around and basically what you want to do is just play with that placement so align both sides to the top so once they kind of look aligned 
you gotta make sure the bottom holes line up as well. So the bottom holes was what I was having a little issue with just now, but okay, bottom holes line up and then top holes line up. Okay, so this looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is get those bolts and put the bolts through. You're not gonna do it too tight, just because you wanna be make sure that you can wiggle and move it. And then later on, once everything's in place, all four bolts seem to work, then you tighten it down. So for now, I'm just gently putting it down. And same thing with the other side. You're gonna do the two tops first and then the two bottoms. This side looks pretty good here. So as you can see, I put in both sides. And like I said, you put that bolt in through the back first and then you put the mounting bracket, put your washer and then the lock bolt. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press this down, slide the whole thing up and do the fronts. So same steps. So you're gonna slide it down. Make sure that you can fit the Allen bolts underneath. And you're gonna repeat the same steps. All right, and from my experience, if you're having difficulty putting the bracket on, it's always easier to put the bottom first and then the top. So right now, same steps. I'm just gonna go put the bolt first, bracket, washer, and then the nut. And like I said, I'm doing hand tight for all now because I'm just trying to make sure everything's all aligned. Alright, so once everything seems to be aligned, you can go ahead and tighten them down. So use your Allen key on the back. And then you use your 13 millimeter wrench on the front. same steps I have all my bolts all in securely and tight one two three four so what you want to do now is just flip the seat over before you put it in the car slide it back and forth make sure it's pretty good Pretty good. I have both seat brackets on the seats now. So what I'm gonna do is the not so fun part, but I'm gonna take off my stock seats from my car and then bring them in the house and put these aftermarket seats into the car. So don't forget, uh, if let's say from the stock seats on the stock mounting bracket, you have to remove that, uh, um, what do you call that, seat belt. So on these brackets, there are little, on the side there's like a little metal piece where you can put your uh, seat belt. So I'm going to do that right now. I brought my stock seats in and these are the aftermarket seats. So this is the driver's side that I took off first. And how you can tell is on the aftermarket seats, especially if it's the driver or passenger side, if it's the driver's side, you have this uh, lever to adjust front and back on your left side. So this is my driver's side. And what I'm gonna do is take off this seat belt and attach it over here to the aftermarket seats on this little bracket. All right, so this is a 70 millimeter bolt that you're gonna use to take off the seat belt. Okay, so got it loose. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is attach the stock seat belt. So, just gonna go ahead and put the bolt in. Tighten it. All right, so I just put in the seats 
on the driver's side and right now I'm just going to remove the OEM stock seats let me show you guys how to do it so it's pretty simple so uh, for new cars especially my 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT you see all these covers I'll show you guys so over here you have all these covers on all four sides you have these plastic covers covering the bolts so what you want to do is just take a flat tip screwdriver and basically all you're going to do is just pry it open so as you heard the little clip sound pry it open and you'll reveal a bolt so all four sides once you pry it open is going to be let's see a 14 millimeter for all four sides so let me go ahead and pry all these plastic pieces open and then I'll unbolt the, the seats Once my seats are in I gotta connect my seat belt plug otherwise my seat belt light will keep going off so it's basically this plug I'm gonna connect it back so I believe is this one connect it back Same thing like before, just gonna connect those bolts. So again, use your 14 millimeter bolt to connect it all. So I'm just gonna align all of it properly first before I bolt it in. All right, so I've been working on the car for quite a while, um, trying to put the seats in. They are finally in, uh, but it's getting pretty late and I'm pretty tired. So um, basically, I just have some minor adjustments to do tomorrow. Um, and basically what I have to do is I need to get new bolts for my seat belt to attach it properly uh, because the bolts that it came with uh, were kind of long so I couldn't really attach it so I'm going to go to Lowe's tomorrow to pick up some shorter bolts and then reattach the seats I also have to adjust my harness bar um, because with the aftermarket seat brackets they're a little different from the OEM ones so I'm going to adjust my harness bar a little bit and hopefully attach my Takara harness as well tomorrow so Stay tuned, I'll take out the camera tomorrow whenever I'm doing all those adjustments. So I didn't take out the camera at all today, but I got a lot done. Have my buddy Min over here. And basically, like I said, yesterday we were, um, well, I was putting in the seats on the seat brackets and on the slider, so that worked. The only thing was, let me just show you guys. Um, I had to go to Lowe's to get some more parts. And with the help of Min, a couple hours later, without the camera, Damn, looks so good. So, brown racing seats, the cut the harness all in. As you can see, it's on properly on the harness bar. So yeah, really excited. It looks so good. And besides that, we also put on these stickers, Aeroflow stickers. So this is a front splitter from Aeroflow. So it's gold in color, it really matches the theme on the car. It's really good both sides had it kind of matches the gold wheels so really loving how it looks uh like i said <laughs> well shout out to me like i said thanks for helping me out he's helping me shine the light my light guy <laughs> but um basically some of you guys might know the exterior for phase one i'm pretty much done the only reason i changed up my splitter was because it broke um but yeah i'm more going to the interior mods right now stay tuned more interior mods coming um small subtle stuff the good thing was the expensive part was you know the seats and i pretty much got that done and then next year i have big plans to go do stuff to the outside the phase two of the car i'll kind of keep that secret for now and then we'll move on from there but leave a thumbs up if you guys like the video if you guys want to see more mods on my 2015 mitsubishi lancer gt leave a like as well subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch you guys in the next video